so next is the duodenum is connected with the small intestine and the small intestine connected to the large intestine large intestine is made up of three portions called as ascending colon transverse colon and the descending colon so colon means is nothing but intestine so the large intestine has the three parts ascending which is running upward and transverse transverse region and then descending which is running downwards okay then this connected with the bag like structure called as rectum and then it is uh, the small opening is present which is called as the anus and which is controlled by the muscles called as anal sphincter now coming to the small intestine the food particles already you know now the food is somewhat digestion is took place with the help of the pancreas pancreatic uh, enzymes as well as the bile juice now the food after digestion it comes to the small intestine region even in the small intestine certain intestinal cells are present or intestinal glands are present which helps to secrete certain substances or enzymes final conversion of starch into glucose proteins into amino acids fats into fatty acids and glycerol that can be completed in the small intestine and at the surface of the small intestine many finger like projections are present which is called as villi they are microscopic in nature and millions of number is present in the wall of small intestine so which increases the surface area for absorption so after complete digestion took place in the small intestine then the villi started absorbing and the villi is made up of many blood vessels and all the nutrients are supplied to the blood vessels and it is taken to different parts of the body so the absorption is taking place and the remaining food substances that is undigested or unabsorbed food is taken into the large intestine and even in the large intestine it consisting of villi the finger like projection is called as villi it absorbs the excess water or uh, the uh, amount of water will be absorbed by this villi region and then the unab- unabsorbed food or undigested food is converted into solid condition and then it is stored into the bag like structure called as rectum and after it is filled automatically it is connected to the nerve uh, this brain and immediately you feel like urgency with the help of this opening of the anal sphincter the anus gets open and it is removed through this anus region the un- undigested or unabsorbed food gets removed this process is called as excretion so up to this the human digestive system gets over if you have any doubt you can comment in my comment box or you can give your valuable suggestions also thank you